What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at AND and OR logic operators for JavaScript. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at logic operators for JavaScript. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at AND and OR logic operators. In the last video, we looked at conditional statements. Before that, we looked at comparison operators. Now we're gonna take both of those things and add another component to it, the AND and OR logic operators. So we looked at the last video, we had an else if statement, and you can keep using those. You can have 50 else if statements. You could just keep asking another if, else if, else if, else if. But sometimes you wanna do it a little bit easier than that or you wanna make a very specific sort of logical question and answer. And to do that, you're gonna use a logic operator. And there are two of them we wanna look at, the AND and the OR operators. So the AND operator is the double ampersand sign. And the OR operator is the double upright, I don't know what these are called, holes? No, I don't know, there's a word for these. They're just those these upright bar things, right? So we use these in our if statement in the conditional section here, right? So this allows us to make more than one comparison. So we could say, hey, if my name equals John and four equals four, but whatever, right? So we can add another condition basically into the statement, then do this. So and is very specific. Both of these conditions have to evaluate to true in order for this whole thing to be true. So this has to be true. My name has to equal John and four has to equal four, right? If either of these are false, this thing will evaluate to false. And then we know this whole thing right here gets skipped. It'll drop down to the else statement and do the else statement. So let's run this. I've, I've named this file logic.html. This is just the starter code that we've been using for the last few videos. Head over to our web browser and hit reload. And it says, hello, Bob. Why is that? Well, because our name up here is Bob. And so here is my name, John. No, it's not. So this is false, right? Both of these have to be true we can change this to John. And now this is true and this is true. So this will evaluate to true and it'll say, hello there, John. And we can prove that by hitting reload. And it says, of course, hello there, John. So this is sort of a silly example. If four equals four, of course, four equals four, but you may have some variable that, you know, that's like 10 and you can use all of your comparison operators. So we could say if 10 is greater than four, right? What, whatever. Or you might have something else you need to test against, whatever that is, you can add it using this and sign. Now we can do as many of these as we want. We could say and uh, four equals four, you know, and we can keep going, right? So and my name uh, does not equal Bob, whatever. We could just keep going and going. Uh, these are sort of silly examples, but you get the idea. You can have as many of these as you want. So definitely keep that in mind. So that's and. The other logic operator is OR, and it's very similar to AND. We just, instead of these two ampersands, we use these two pipes, I think they're called, maybe. That sounds right. Anyway, uh, so here, this is slightly different. This is OR, so either of these have to be true. So this has to be true, or this has to be true. If either one of them are true, the whole thing evaluates to true. So we can say, uh, if four is equal to four, and my name is John, if we change this back to Bob, this is still gonna say, hello there, John, because this is gonna be true because my name is not John, but four does equal four. So as long as one of these, one or the other is true, the whole thing evaluates to true. So if we save that, come back over here, it's gonna say, hello there, John, because like I said, one of these is true. If you know we said if four is equal to five, well, this is gonna be false because this is not true. My name is not John, it's Bob. And this is not true. Four does not equal five, right? So in this case, this whole thing evaluates to false. Anytime that evaluates to false, we skip the brackets and drop down to the next section, which is this else statement. So it's gonna say, hello there, Bob. So if we go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload, sure enough, hello, Bob. So those are our logic operators, very, very simple. And like I said, you're gonna get an intuitive feel of when to use these versus when to use a, a regular if else statement. Now you can always use an if else statement. And like I said, you can have hundreds of if else statements if you wanted to. 
I don't know why you would want to, but you know, you could, or you could use your and and or if you need a couple of different things to equally be true or be true, right? If you need to test an and or an or, that's how you're going to do it. And like I said, you'll get a feel on when to use that versus when to use a regular else if statement. It'll be obvious as you're coding for whatever purpose you have at the time, you'll be like, oh yeah, I need a logic operator for that. Or, oh, an else if statement makes more sense. And that's sort of how it goes. So logic operators, very handy, very useful, very easy. And just remember, and both have to be true because that's what and means, right? Just in the English language, and means and, right? This and that, they both have to be. Or is the opposite. It's this or that. So just sort of keep that in mind. That's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.